But she did write this letter, and she gave it to her next-door neighbor, Ted Voigt, and she said, if anything happens to me, give this to the police. And he gave it, he gave it to the police on December 4th. This letter was written by Julie Jensen. Pleasant Prairie Police Department, Ron Cosman, Detective Ratsburg. I took this picture and I'm writing this on Saturday, November 21st, 1998. This was in my husband's business daily planner, not meant for me to see. I don't know what it means, but if anything happens to me, he would be my first suspect. Our relationship has deteriorated to the plight, superficial. I know he's never forgiven me for the brief affair I had with that creep seven years ago. Mark lives for work and the kids. He's an avid surfer of the internet. Anyway, I do not smoke or drink. My mother was an alcoholic, so I limit my drinking to one or two a week. Mark wants me to drink more with him in the evenings. I don't. I would never take my life because of my kids. They are everything to me, and she underlined everything. I regularly take Tylenol and multivitamins, occasionally take OTC stuff for colds, Zantac, or Imodium, have one prescription for migraine tablets, which Mark uses more than me. I pray I'm wrong and nothing happens, but I'm suspicious of Mark's suspicious behaviors. Fear for my early demise. However, I will not leave David and Douglas, my life's greatest love, accomplishment, and wish, my three Ds, Daddy, Mark, David, and Douglas, and signed Julie Jensen. And this letter was written November 21st, 1998. This is the list that she'd seen. This is the list that was photographed by Julie and given to the police. Well, I'm very pleased with this verdict. I mourn this terrible loss that this community sustained when Mark Jensen snuffed out the life of the mother of his